Hi, I'm Cody Howard, director of your Pickerington Public Library. Uh, and I'd like to wish you happy holiday, Merry Christmas, and a happy new year. Um, I'm going to share today what my family does uh, for the holidays. So every year we have um, little ones. And so every year we make uh, gifts with the little ones so they can give um, special gifts to family members. And I brought a couple of examples because these are easy things that you could do at home that are really fun to do. Um, a couple years ago, we made bookmarks where uh, the boys finger painted on paper. We cut them out. We laminated them and put little tassels on them. And uh, there's Violet's bookmark um, decorated by the ABC boys. Um, and so that was a really easy, fun um, craft that we could do with the kids that they could give out to all the different family members. They gave them out to uh, library staff here. So it's just something fun to do. Last year we made ornaments, or really cool wooden ornaments, um, where they put their fingers on and made uh, little snowmen with their fingers. Um, this year we decided to do something wild and crazy because our six-year-old likes snakes right now and said, let's make snakes for everybody. And we're like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? So we looked up salt dough snakes, um, salt dough crafts. And you can make snakes, you can make ornaments out of salt dough, you can do just about anything. But I wanted to share. Um, so these aren't our boys, but these are examples. And if you search for salt dough crafts or salt dough snakes, you can find an easy recipe online where you can um, make the dough yourself, bake it in the oven for a couple of hours, two, three hours, and then um, decorate it however you want. It's really fun, really easy Christmas ideas, uh, gift ideas that you can do, have fun with your child, and then have them give them the family members. We're going to mail ours to our family members because it's kind of um, one of those years. Um, but then also what we do in our household, being a librarian and um, the love of books. Our boys read three books a night. We read three books a night before bed. And when it comes to Christmas time, we really try to throw in a Christmas book every day uh, up until Christmas. Uh, and one of um, a, a really fun Christmas book that I wanted to um, just share with you is Oh, What a Christmas. And so, Oh, What a Christmas. I'm not going to read it to you, but I want to tell you that this is a really fun uh, spin on Santa delivering presents. His sleigh breaks down and the his reindeer, they keep flying off. And he's like, oh, how am I going to finish Christmas? And so the uh, barnyard where he lands in, um, he basically recruits the animals of the barnyard to um, take place of his reindeer. Um, and he sprinkles his magic dust on them. They, they fly him so he can finish Christmas. And then he leaves a special surprise at the end. So I encourage you to read as much as possible and enjoy as many Christmas books as you can. Happy holidays to you and your family from the library and my personal family. Hi, everyone. I am back with Violet here. And Violet, would you like to help me tell a story about Rudolph? Okay, all right. Rudolph, Rudolph, what will you do? You can't guide Santa if your nose is blue. Uh-oh. Rudolph, Rudolph, you're such a silly fellow. Who will know it's you if your nose is yellow? Silly Rudolph. Rudolph, Rudolph, your way cannot be seen through the wintry weather if your nose is Green. Rudolph, Rudolph, Santa gave a wink. But what will Santa think if your nose is pink? Violet, you have some pink on you too in your ears. Very pretty. Rudolph, Rudolph, it's time to fly at night. But you're quite a sight because your nose is white. 
Rudolph, Rudolph, it's time to go to town. But Santa's wearing a frown. Oh no, because your nose is brown. Rudolph, Rudolph, Santa has his back. But you're not ready if your nose is black. Rudolph, Rudolph, the children are in bed. And now I know you're ready because your nose is red. Yay! Good job, Violet. Rudolph is ready for Christmas Eve. Hi, I'm Erica from the Customer Service Department. In my family, we have a tradition where we put on Christmas music and we make dozens and dozens of cookies to pass out to our friends and family. And we've been doing this for several generations. Um, our usual kind is chocolate chip, but we like all different varieties um, of butterscotch and peanut butter and white chocolate. So if you're in a baking mood, this book here has a lot of fun recipes to try. Um, I want to wish everybody a safe and festive holiday season. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everybody. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lorna in customer service, and I'd like to share a family tradition that we used to have. When my daughter was younger, um, I managed to put to get together through garage sales and school book sales, 24 books about the holidays and winter, and I'd wrap them all up and put them in a nice basket and each night after dinner, she would get to pick out one of these books, unwrap it, and we'd, we'd share it together as a family. Now, you don't have to do 24 days. That might be a little bit much to do, but you could pick one day a week or maybe just do the seven days running up to Christmas Eve. But it's a great way to spend family time together and also promote that reading is a fun thing to do. Merry Christmas! It's Miss Grace with Youth Services. My favorite holiday tradition is ugly sweaters. Every year at the library, we have one day where we all wear our ugly sweaters. And I love to get creative and see if I can make the most unique ugly sweater. Here's my ugly sweater from last year. If you look real close, it's little cats going inside a mitten. Violet, do you think you would like to make an ugly sweater? Maybe we might have to do that next year. Merry Christmas! Hi, I am Miss Dana and I'm the Youth Services Manager here at Pickerington, Maine. And one of my favorite Christmas movies is A Christmas Story. And if you haven't seen it yet, this is about a boy named Ralphie. It's set in 1940s in Indiana. And the only thing Ralphie wants for Christmas is an official Red Rider carbine action 200 shot range model air rifle. And Everyone he tells this to says the same thing. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. So, if you haven't watched this yet, pick up a Christmas story. Merry Christmas. Hi, I'm Becca from the customer service department. Um, one of my favorite Christmas memories is reading books and watching movies with my family around the holidays. Um, some of my favorite examples are Home Alone, Charlie Brown, and Santa Claus. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. We'd like to share a special holiday story with everyone. It is called Click Clack Ho 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 by Doreen Cronin and read with permission from Simon & Schuster. Hey everybody, my name is Jen and I'm one of the managers here at the Pickerington Public Library. My favorite thing about the holidays is family, so I want to wish my library family the very best of the season. And I hope all of you stay well and take care of each other. Happy Holidays! Hi, my name's Sarah. I work in the Customer Service Department here at the Pickerington Public Library and I'm here with Violet. And uh, I'm going to tell you about one of my family traditions for Christmas. Um, my family always gets together and goes at my aunt's house, and we make tons of cookies. Um, we make gingerbread, sugar, um, and me and my cousins take time and decorate them and just have a wonderful time together. Um, so I hope you all have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and wish you all well. 
Hi, my name is Joan Underwood and I am the um, sex services supervisor and I'd like to talk about my favorite movie that I watch every year at Christmas time and that's The Sound of Music. We've watched it since I was a little kid and it's just always been a favorite. So uh, I hope you and your families all have a wonderful Christmas this year and come visit us again at the library next year.